Hey guys, it's been a while since you've seen me and I have some exciting updates to share with you all. So let's get to it. So I'm going old school right now. I don't have any camera situation set up. Uh, this uh, kind of goes back to the very first video that I posted think it'll go there or there I kind of forgot how to do this where I was just kind of on my couch and using my phone so uh yeah I just wanted to hop back on here real quick to kind of give you all a brief update I even though it left the YouTube creation like the videos and stuff like that and uploading um to my channel I haven't left YouTube in general as a passive viewer like a passive scroller basically so i have been recently inspired by a couple of people who have come back to youtube after leaving for some time and who are just getting right back into it um thinking of mary fran from no excuses i don't i think we can like at each other now so i'll try to do that tag you but you are super inspirational just getting back on here and updating us on your journey and how it's going and for me the youtube thing it just became a little time consuming to create content and i think part of that is if you go through my videos of those of you who have been following me um I like to do like fun little challenges and do like I did a 21 day challenge. I did a bike riding uh, challenge one of my first times uh, doing that. I did a keto challenge for 12 weeks. So a lot of my content, I, I think it, it takes time to kind of think about what the challenge is going to be and, and then do it. And then I like editing and I like putting things together and that just became a little too time consuming. So I do want to say, though, that I have not given up on my health journey. I know a lot of people leave YouTube for a variety of reasons. And one of the first things that I think people think when you leave your health channel is that you're no longer trying to be healthy or you're, you know, failing or you're stumbling, I should say. You're stumbling um, on your journey. For me, that has not been the case. I kind of uh, went into what's the kind of phrase I'm looking for? I began to take things incredibly seriously in December. And what happened in December was I essentially got to a very unhealthy high weight for myself. For the last like four years, I've been kind of like gaining the same five pounds and losing the same five pounds. But I hit a peak in December. I was 195 on the scale and it I was it was getting uncomfortable. I I have a very I'm a, a very short person, so um, that number just for me personally was not where I wanted to be, and I wanted to do something sustainable, something that I could you know start and keep doing and make it a part of my lifestyle. So I kind of decided to change my life. <laughs> uh, not to be dramatic, but I wanted to do it in a very slow, methodical way. No gimmicks, no challenges. Just do the classic count your calories, exercise more, and then kind of see where that gets you. The key being consistency. So I'm happy to report, and, and I have to be real, there's a part of me that didn't want to post this until I got to this point, because I started this channel at around 177, 178 was like my starting weight on this channel. And I've always wanted to like be lower than that when I come back to the channel to be like, okay guys, it's working, that sort of thing. So I am happy to report uh, the moment that you've been waiting for, uh, if you've tuned in. I weighed in this morning at 175.8. So that is a nearly 20 pound weight loss since December. Uh, very slow, like I said, slow, gradual progress has being made. I, it's not really interesting, which is part of the thing of like, do I really want to make a YouTube video when I'm just counting my calories and kind of just like the days are the same and I'm working out and doing all these things. But I would like to kind of give you guys some updates on, on what I've been doing because it, it has been successful at least since December, and it's honestly the first time that I've done this uh, for my channel where I've actually lost more than like 12 pounds, so 20 pounds is not nothing, and um, I don't really have a goal in mind in terms of like how much weight I want to lose. 
I do want to train again for a half marathon and eventually a marathon. I, I just, that, that seems so far away, but I've been jogging outside again and I did a 5k last weekend and a very slow jogger, but it, it's just like, it's great to work towards something. And so if you're interested in coming back uh, to my channel, if you're new, hello, but if you're one of those people that has been a subscriber from the early days, like 2020, I want to tell you that I am back. And what I'm going to do is probably this kind of style until that creative bug hits me or bites me or whatever. And I want to do like more editing or, you know, have like cool graphics or take you outside, make it like a vlog. I won't, I'll probably never be a vlogger. Let's be real. But I could once a week update you guys on on my weight and how it went and each week is a little bit different it's like i said it's boring but it's a little different um but maybe you know i can finally be helpful to somebody who's also on a journey and i think the message of this channel is it's not a linear journey man it is it goes up and down and consistency is key and finding the inner strength to be consistent and to be disciplined even if you're not feeling motivated I think these are tools that I've um, I've learned the last, like, what is it? We're in March. So, like, four months. I've been pretty consistent, and it's paid off. So, if any of that's helpful, um, please continue watching, and I will do my best to upload next week with an update.